Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to do another problem which requires the simplex method of optimization to solve. Now we're going to use the simplex method, which means the matrix method to do so. The problem goes as follows. We're going to build computers. We have two models we're going to build. Model A costs $100 to manufacture, and Model B costs $150 to manufacture. We can expect to make a profit of $30 for Model A and $40 for Model B. There are some constraints. We know that the monthly demand will be either $2,500 or less, and the total available monthly funds we have to make these computers is $600,000. How many of each model should we make to maximize the profit? So we go through this very systematically. We have a number of questions we want to answer first. First of all, we want to figure out or define the variables we're going to use in the equation. So we're going to let x equal the number of model A that we're going to build and let y equal the number for model B. So x equals the number of model A and y is going to equal the number of model B. It is very important that we define those variables very specifically. It's the number for model A and the number for model B. Then we need to determine what's being maximized or minimized. Now in this case we're going to solve a maximization problem so what is being maximized and it shows we want to maximize the profit. So we maximize the profit and we defined our two variables. Next we need to determine the objective function, the function that will define the profit. Well for each model A we're going to make $30, for each model B we're going to make $40 and X and Y represent the number of each model we're going to manufacture. So therefore the profit is equal to $30 for each model A times the number for model A plus $40, which is the profit for each Model B, times the number of Model B we're going to build. So there's our objective function. Next, we need to determine the constraints. So we have two constraints. One is the total number that we can build, which means the total number we're going to build, X plus Y, must be less than or equal to 2,500. And the total amount of money we're going to spend manufacturing them, and notice that this is how much it costs for each, we can therefore say that 100 times X plus 150 times y must be less than or equal to the total amount of money we have available, which is $600,000. So those are our two constraints. Now we want to write those constraints in terms of equations by using slack variables. So we add a slack variable so we can turn the inequality symbol into an equation, which means we can write that x plus y plus our first slack variable will equal 2,500 and 100x plus 150y plus a second slack variable will equal 600,000. So now we turned our two inequalities into equations that we'll be able to put into our matrix. Then we need to rewrite the objective function so that I have everything over to one side. So we move those two terms over to the left side. So write this as minus 30x minus 40y plus p equals 0. So that's our objective function rewritten with everything over to one side. And finally, we're now ready to write an augmented matrix. So the matrix, oh, let me lower that just a little bit. So the matrix indicates we're going to have two variables, x and y. We have two slag variables, s1 and s2. We have a profit variable, p. And then we have the augmented numbers over here where we put the numbers on the right side of equal sign. So let's put the equations down. First, we have our first equation. We put down the coefficients of x and y. So 1x plus 1y plus one slag variable plus zero of the second slag variable. Oop, and I need to move the oop, line just a little bit. So zero profit. I guess I want to put the dashed line there. And then we put the augmentation on the right side. So we set that equal to the number we have over here, which is 2,500. That's what we mean by augmented matrix. Then our second line represents the second equation, which is 100 for x plus 150 for y. We have zero on the first like variable, one second like variable, zero for the profit, and that equals 600,000. And then let's draw a line in this direction. Now we're going to put our, augment, our uh, objective function rewritten down as the third line. And so we have minus 30 for x, we have minus 40 for y, zero for the first like variable, zero for the second like variable, one for the profit variable, and at this point our profit will be zero because notice that since these don't have zeros and all ones and zeros in here that the slack variables are now 
the dominant portion of the solution. So therefore, if the first like variable is equal to 2,500 and the second like variable is equal to 600,000, we make zero profit and that's known as the basic solution. So the basic solution says that when x equals zero and y equals zero and s1 equals 2,500 and s2 equals 600,000, then the profit that we make is equal to zero because when you plug in zero and zero there, we get zero profit. That's our basic solution, the start of the initial matrix. Of course, eventually what we want to do is we want to have ones and zeros in the X and Y columns. We want to have the zeros gone in the S1 and S2 columns. And then we have the total or maximum profit that we can make for this particular problem. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we, st we want to find the pivot point and the pivot point st starts in the column that has the largest negative number right here and to determine which number here we're going to use as a pivot we take this number divided by this number and look for the lowest ratio so 2500 divided by 1 so 2500 divided by 1 is equal to 2500 and 600,000 divided by 150 is equal to let's see here get rid of these zeros that goes into there four times so that's 4,000 which means that this is the smallest ratio, which means we're going to use this number here as our pivot point to get rid of the 150 and to get rid of the minus 40. So using this one here, we're going to um, multiply each of the rows two and three with some factor of row one to get rid of the 150 and to get rid of the minus 40. So the way we do that is we take the second row and we replace it by the negative of this number, minus 150, times the row with the one in it, which is R1, and add it to row 2. And then we take the third row and we take the negative of that number, which is a positive 40, times the row with the one in it, R1, and adding it to the third row. And when we do that, we get a new matrix that will have these two numbers to zero, and then we have some value for our Y variable. Okay, the first row doesn't change, this is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 2,500. The second row now, minus 150 times 1 added to 100, that becomes minus 50. Minus 150 times 1 is minus 150 added to 0, uh, added to 150 makes 0. Minus 150 times 1 is minus 150, added to 0 is minus 150. Here nothing changes, here nothing changes. And minus 150 times 2,500, better get a calculator for that. So 150 times 2,500, that is minus 375,000, added to 600,000 plus 600,000, that gives me 225,000. Okay, and then we come down here, and then we do the third row. So 40 times 1 added to minus 30 is plus 10. So might as well draw a line here. 40 times 1 added to minus 40 is 0. 40 times 1 added to 0 is 40. 40 times that, nothing changes. 40 times that, nothing changes. And 40 times 2,500, that looks, that's 100,000, isn't it? Let's see, 40 times 2,500, 100,000. And there's our first iteration of the answer. So what has changed now? Well, here we can see that because this is x, y, my first like variable, my second like variable, and my profit function. So when y is equal to 2,500, so when y is equal to 2,500, and x is still going to be 0, because we don't have a solution for x yet, and my first like variable is now equal to 0, my second like variable, s2, is equal to 225,000, and my profit is going to be 100,000. All right, so that's my first iteration. So now I can make a profit of $100,000 if I make 2,500 of model, well, Y stands for model B, if I make 2,500 units of model B and zero units of model A. So continuing, we look at our matrix and we look for the largest negative number at the bottom, but there's no longer any negative numbers. If we run out of negative numbers on the bottom, we are done. So we could say we're done. And because we're done, we can say that this here is the answer to our question. We're trying to maximize the profit. How many of each model should we make? We should make 2,500 of the model that corresponds to variable Y. So therefore, we can say that we need to make 2,500 of model B. 
zero of model A, and therefore we have $100,000 profit. That's the maximum profit we can make. Okay, so which means that there's no other way to make additional profit because we have a maximum demand of 2,500. Since we want to make the maximum profit, we're going to make as many of Model B as we can because we make more profit from Model B. And we leave $225,000 on the table. That's our slack variable for the second equation right here, which means we don't need to utilize all of the $600,000 Therefore, the $600,000 was not the constraint. It was the monthly demand that was the constraint, which forced us into making more of Model B and zero of Model A. And there's the answer. That's how we use the simplex method to optimize a problem like this.